changing spark plugs on these Japanese motorcycles can be quite daunting and seem difficult, but in reality, with a little bit of prep and thought and using service manual to get the best procedures, you can actually do this without causing any damage like this. So I'm going to show you how you can avoid damage like this from using the right tool and then some prep methods. Let's get into it. Hey friend, smash that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Also, we have hundreds of videos and playlists on here for you. Enjoy the video. Changing spark plugs on V4 Hondas can be a bit of a pain because they are buried in the front. The rears, no problem. It's best to do a maintenance to care, like do a valve adjustment, do everything together. But if you're just doing something where you only got to change the spark plugs, what you want to do is take the fasteners out of the radiator. These hoses are flexible. Take any wires off, just kind of tip it forward, and then you can access it. But then to do that, you're going to need a couple more tools because your standard sockets and wrenches still will not fit in there. If you're trying too hard, you're going to ding up the radiator and do like someone's done here in the past and put little knuckle marks in there. Here's an even bigger pro tip. If you were working on a bike that was mint condition and didn't have anything like that and you're really concerned about protecting it, just take yourself a little piece of cardboard and stuff in there. You could even cut around if you want to go a little further. But that way, if you do accidentally tap this or touch it, I mean, you're not even going to catch any pain or have any problems at all with that. They do make cool little tools where you can straighten fins, but on something like this, if you cause that damage, you're most likely going to be pulling that radiator and then painting it and a lot of work. So this is some pro tips to protect yourself ahead of time. So what you want to do is right in the factory toolkit that's probably sitting under the seat of the motorcycle, you find this little funky gadget. And what it is, a spark plug wrench. If you're lucky, that rubber's still in there and will pull the spark plug out. But on older bikes, can tend to be a little bit of a pain. So what you do, you can see is you can slip that down there. Now this will articulate, okay? And then you just take 10 millimeter wrench, or use a ratcheting wrench, ratchet that out of there. And then what you wanna do is get yourself a magnet or a piece of hose or something. I find this magnet works pretty slick. see me one-handed getting that spark plug up and out of there to find out that yep they need a change looks like it's had a pretty good life but it's just plain do the other thing that's not being shown in this video is before you pull those spark plugs out I always take a hose and blow it out as soon as I take the cap off so that I'm not getting any junk from out here down in there plug your holes until you're ready to put your new spark plugs in with a piece of paper towel those are some pro tips from howtowrench.com like share and follow